Hey guys, this is 99TG Sam coming at you with uh, another work in progress. Uh, I haven't made a little, made a little bit more progress than what I was in my last video. Still far from the finished product. Um, it's taken a lot longer, and I suspect that I was trying to get at least one of these videos up every week, or every two weeks. But I think it's been three weeks since my last upload, so it's it's been kind of hectic and difficult to get things get things done. But uh. But I haven't been making progress, and uh, I figured that I'm in a, a good spot to make up uh, another update video of where I stand. Um, so, as I left off before, I was finished the weapons, and I finished the uh, the feet of the Gundam, and I moved on to the legs. Uh, this is one of the upper legs of the Gundam. Uh, as you can see. Same technique as before. I use flat black, uh, the base coat, and then I would go in with silver, titanium, reds, blues, and copper to uh, highlight and detail certain areas that I felt like were uh, good to highlight. Also, once I finish that, I do a dry brush to add some weathering to the actual product, uh, the actual end product. So it looks like it's been been through something that's been used um, as you can see there's some uh, piping details on the knee and as well as um, this is also part of the knee this is like the kneecap I guess you could call it so that's what I've done so far on this leg uh, the other leg is completely finished and that is the finished leg bring that in so you can see all the detail Before you can see, there's the, uh, the leg. And I'll show the other side. Pretty much the same thing. This is the back. And then the bottom of the feet also have detail as well so far. So, um, so far I, I believe this product is coming out fairly nice. Um, I, I'm fairly pleased of my progress so far, of how things work out, and what I am highlighting. What I also like is that these little fins here, you can um, pull up this piece right behind the knee, and then you can fold these fins out, and just some more detailing inside as well. Highlighted the vents, and uh, fold it back. But uh, I think it's coming out nice. I think it looks fairly decent. I don't know. I'm sure people can do a hell of a lot better than I can. Uh, these pieces here on the side can, uh, I think they can pop off from here. Yep. Yeah, they can. They can, they can pop them up and they can expose even more detail inside. The articulation on this so far is the hip rotates, and you get a awesome one that like some amazing foot articulation, not leg articulation, but it, it's it's amazing what this can do, and uh, fits very nice in there. Uh, as you can see, you got some pistons in the ankle. It's got good rotation all around. It's got several motions in the ankle and allows you to push it even further forward. And what it all you can do. So I am, I am very pleased with this uh, outcome so far. Um, well, this is going to be a short little uh, update, but I'm going to try to push these out every week or two so I can. So I can finally get this product out and show you guys what it's going to look like at the end. But uh, still got a actually put that there. Still got a lot of work to go. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, leave them in the comment box below. Um, yeah, but I'm more than willing to answer them, and I'm always open to more ideas and techniques to uh, 
make my model look even better than what it actually is. So uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.